For this juice, I'm gonna be using two oranges, one and a half apple, one pear, and a little bit of ginger. I like a lot of ginger. Just gonna cut the fruit in four, I usually do, or six, and then I just peel the orange. And you don't need to cut the orange because you can throw it in whole as it is. Opening the valve and just throwing everything in super easy. The juicer will do the work. As you can see, everything is juicing smoothly and this takes no time and you can use the function. As you can see, I am uh, putting in the whole orange. If anything gets stuck, you can use the um, pressing tool, the temper which you can use to help the fruit and the vegetable to get juiced. And I'm gonna show you how to use the vacuum function, which is great from this appliance, because you can store your juice and have it later on without worrying about oxidation. Oxidization, I think. <laughs> Um, so it's great because your juice will stay fresh and you can drink it whenever you feel like so this is the amazing um, vacuum bottle that comes with the H3000 Optimum by Fruity this was the best idea as you just throw in the juice into the bottle then as you can see it has that little valve then you take out this little other piece and that's the valve you push it onto the, to the bottle that's super easy and you press down and then you press the little bottom button that is there and it will do the work on its own it will take i think around one minute to get the air out and then you put it back you push it back and uh, you can put your juice in the fridge your juice is ready to go in the fridge and ready to be consumed whenever you feel like even the next day and it will stay fresh so I'm gonna go ahead and put my juice in the fridge and I think this is a great idea. You can also do this with wheatgrass juice which is prone to oxidization and then you can drink your juice whenever you want. I hope you enjoyed, see you next time, ciao!